Hey folks, AshleyAllThingsIndustry.com and I'm just talking to you today about a uh, titanium milled bar case we're using for uh, this patient right here. So this is a, a patient, she has gone through a series of complete dentures. She's now in complete dentures with locators. Uh, interesting situation, this is approximately a 50 year old female with a chief complaint of, I don't like my denture the way it is right now. So she, her, she relates a history of orthognathic surgery due to a cleft palate. This was back in the mid 80s. So, and in the 90s, she had a number of implants placed. So here's her maxillary cast, zoomed in on there. And you can, she is a, a fairly heavy smoker. So she had six implants, two failed, approximately in the uh, right tuberosity region, right posterior maxilla. And now she has three that are serviceable. And on her mandible, she has three that are serviceable. Now, what's interesting, I can't show it on here, is that this implant on her, approximately her right canine, is approximately this high. So, there are probably about five threads showing. So we decided to have a bar milled and give her a, a fixed acrylic denture on the maxilla. And one of the reasons why is because of the angulation of the, the implants. Is having, she's having difficulties with the O-rings always coming out. Uh, that was another part of her chief complaint, just being unhappy with that. So we decided to have a, milled, have a bar milled so here it is, a titanium milled bar. So this went to 3i. We elected to use titanium because of the, precise of the preciseness of the fit, but also the light, the weight. I mean, this is incredibly light, even compared to a cast gold bar that is perhaps half of the half the length of this. It's super light. So we have this bar that was fabricated. And then we just put it on. Okay, so here is the bar now put back onto the cast. And <clears throat> what we're doing is we're going to complete the wax up, process the acrylic, and then have this fixed, uh, screw it down, and then this will be uh, a fixed overdenture in the patient's mouth or in the patient's oral cavity and we're going to have continue with the locators on the mandibular arch. So you can see here and one of the discussions that we had with several folks was the length of this cantilever. So you can see we have three implants and we're missing one on here. So typically we would call this all on four, we're going to call it all on three. Now the actual through the Going through the literature, we have a, a number that comes out around 12, meter, 12 to 14 millimeters long. This is 15 millimeters as a, as a distal extension. Now, she's going to be opposing a complete, a complete mandibular denture. So instead of cutting this and shortening the cantilever, what we're going to do is we're going to use the idea that um, her ability to apply force to this through a mandibular denture is going to be reduced compared to a natural dentition. So what am I saying? We're going to leave it that length and use the idea that she's not going to be able to create a significant amount of forces on that to fracture. That's the main, our main, such main problem is fracturing that piece. We're going to leave it for the, like that for now. So that's the next stage is going to be uh, a wax try-in. Cheers.